Jujutsu. Yeah. <laughs> they both have the saber skin. But here we go. Game number two, guys, for 9 o'clock uh, versus Aether Explicit. And just to remind everyone, um, Aether Explicit secured game number one. All right. So it's 1 0 right now. But this time around, Aether Explicit, they do have the double support set up um, on their draft with the Rafaela and Cyclops, which I've never seen before. So if this gets executed correctly, um, and they end up beating 9 o'clock, I might experiment with some Cyclops pick. Um, although Cyclops was meta not too long ago, um, I still think he's, he falls off just a little bit just because of his mobility. Um, I have good damage early game, but I just think the only problem with Cyclops is the mobility. But look at this, Ling. Ling got a purple buff. He's stealing the buff on the other side. Aether Explicit wants to steal this too. And 9 o'clock... They're not even doing anything about it. It's like taking a candy from a baby. And the emotes with the crying emotes for Riles. Jeez, what is what happened to nine o'clock there? It was a nothing trade. No no invades or no um how do you say this? They didn't even try protecting it at all to try and stop this link from getting a double purple buff. So I don't know what happened there. Um maybe a miscommunication um into on, on nine o'clock side, but right now, Roger's not level four, although it is not important for Roger to get level 4 since Roger gets all his skills at level 2 since he already has the wolf form. But, I mean, still, getting more EXP is a lot better than um, getting less. So, very well played from Aether Explicit right there, already ahead and has the advantage on the upcoming turtle fight that we're going to have here. Um, but let's see right here. Um, usually though, the good part about this is Ling is going to have purple buff when the turtle spawns. Joyet is going to try to go eject their, um, eject their Riles, but Riles is going to be able to get away. Too mobile, too agile on the Ling. Look at that Paquita though helping this mid lane. I think they want a little bit more pressure being helped on this turtle. The turtle is going to get started maybe in a couple of seconds. And um, Riles, he wants to wave clear first before starting the turtle. Oh, the, there goes the Cyclops working on the Joyet. The Joyet is going to get first fly by the Rafaela. And look at the Paquita going to the back line. Yujong is going to go for the back line as well. But it's going to be two Silers going for back line. Who gets a kill though? Yujong gets a double kill while Paquito gets nothing. And there's the Link going for a trade on the Yujong being too overextended. Mm, that is a pretty equal trade, I would say, for both teams. But um, I still would think Aether Explicit got the upper hand on that trade because this Link got that kill right there. So it's going to snowball this Link into the later stages of the game. You don't want to do that if you're against a Ling. If this Ling is having a comfortable early game, he's most likely going to destroy you in the later stages of the game. Once he, once he gets like Demon Hunter Sword, um, DHS even, oh man. Um, it's a, well, that's two, two of the same item. Why did, I, why did I say Demon Hunter Sword DHS? What I meant is Demon Hunter Sword Endless Battle. Jesus, I'm, I'm like stuttering myself. But here we go. Jawhead is giving some vision here on the mid lane river. The turtle is up uh, and Soda does have the double buff right now. Will they be able to contest for this turtle? Who is going to start it first? I think Paquito really... What? Paquito? Assassin Emblem? Am I tripping right now? He an assassin right now? Jeez, I didn't know Manny Pacquiao was an assassin, but here we go. Um, Roger getting that turtle pretty easily. I'm not really sure why Aether Explicit was not ready to contest that turtle because it was up for a very long- Oh! Drawhead tried to go for a TikTok and he did manage to throw an ejector of Rafaela and that's gonna be a positive trade for 9 o'clock. So I think they are, uh, 9 o'clock. They're definitely drafting more into their comfort zone. And this Paquito with the Assassin Emblem, you you don't have enough sustain, bro. That's the problem when you have Paquito Assassin Emblem, bro. You're gonna be too squishy. You don't have sustain. You don't have the fighter emblem. You don't have festival of blood. Therefore, it's gonna be easy for the enemy to gank you. But Ling gets solo killed on the top side by the first the Cyclops. Also, mispositioning himself. What is he doing? Oh god. Oh, this is not good. The dragon's gonna kill the little Cyclops. And there it is. It's gonna be a one-for-one -one trade. And also, Link's blue buff is in grave danger right here. Again, Paquito and Rafaela try to protect this blue buff. Paquito again so squishy. Look. Look at this Paquito! Oh my god, doing an uppercut, but will he live right there? He does, wow. Surprisingly, he, he survived, but Jawhead actually has the, uh, the the purple buff of Ling. 
So right now, Riles definitely needs to play more passive. All right, definitely needs to play more passive right now without the purple buff. So here we go. Um, Roger getting the purple buff himself so that Link cannot counter jungle and get the purple buff. So very well played. Some small detail right there. Link doesn't know what to do right now. Needs to farm some of the um, the green camps. Uh, or maybe gank like, uh, I don't think this is going to work. Uranus is so, so, so tanky. Such a hard hero to, to gank. I, I really don't think they're going to be able to kill this Uranus without the Link's purple buff. So it, it's actually a good decision that Aether Explicit is not committing to this top lane. Although Uranus is um, around 50% HP. Esmeralda should be able to handle Uranus though. So that should be fine. Uh, here we go though, bot lane, what's happening in bot? The turtle is up and it looks like 9 o'clock, they're ready for this. Jaya trying to go face, face check, D bush right there to make sure nobody's in, um, you know, they get the vision going. And look at the Esmeralda falling Starman on the Uranus, not gonna be able to kill though, Uranus sustain is just way too much. Um, although Esme does counter the Uranus. Um, this Uranus has been playing very safe, but he's not gonna be able to cut the lane. Look at the Paquita going for an uppercut right there. And Rafaela getting a kill in Uranus, and here goes the Ling going for an OT. And the Joya go for an OT on the Ling, and he gets an injector. It's gonna be a double kill coming from Raf, but the Ling gets traded right there. And I'm really not sure who got the turtle. I was not paying attention. The Yuzhan gets a kill. They're all super low. Can they clean up? Farsa is still up, but shutdown coming in from Yu Zhang. It's a double kill. Can he get a triple on Esme? It's not enough, but Farsa gets a kill for a trade killing spree for Farsa as well. So um, I'm not really sure who got the turtle, but um, someone got it. It's it's not there anymore. Um, but in terms of kills, though, Aether Explicit is going to go up on top right there in, in terms of kills. So very well played to Aether Explicit. Even, let's just say, 9 o'clock ended up securing the turtle all right it would have been worth it for aether explicit because they ended up killing four people so that's definitely an advantage right there um finally roger getting another double buff right here and uh can we have a check on ling can we check if he has the uh purple buff uh he does have dhs and he does have the raptor machete so he's gonna get more oh cyclops getting a kill on the uranus actually and look at the roger wants to get an objective here on the bottom side of the map and uh, this time around, 9 o'clock is looking better uh, in terms of objectives. And maybe that's because they have a Ling on Aether Explicit, which is, you know, in the early stage of the game, Ling is not very strong. So they definitely need to play it safe, get this Ling, um, his items, and then once you get the item, they can start brawling around. But look at the Yu Zhang chasing the Rafaela and the Ling, but Rafaela might be out of position here. Can the Yu Zhang get this kill here? Yu Zhang might have been too overextended trying to chase the Raph. But he's gonna retreat. And look at the Joy Ejector. He's been ejectoring everybody around the map. Um, yeah, this Joy has been playing really good this game, by the way. Uh, making some key ejectors around the map. Um, but Ling is gonna be on the bottom side trying to uh, push and get some powers there. Eject another ejector for Giant! And that might be a triple kill for Roger. Roger's gonna chase. He wants to clean up. As Meryl is getting chased. Maybe a maniac. Riles is gonna go. Oh, never mind. It's not a maniac. Report Farsa. For kill stealing that last one from Roger, but either way, I, w I would say um, Soda. Uh, is this Soda? Yeah, it says Soda. Soda is probably uh, happy about that. Oi! Okay, so Ling ended up using the retribution on that purple buff, but due to that, they're gonna have a free turtle because Ling is not gonna have retribution available for this. Can he steal this? There's just, there's no way. There's no way. I'll be your number one file. Ra I'll be Riles' number one fan if he was able to steal that turtle. There's just no way. But either way, he got the blue buff, uh, the purple buff anyway, so it's it's still okay. Um, Link can breathe a little bit right now, all right. So nine o'clock, definitely fix their draft and definitely fix their synergy as a team and rotation. Um, more objective so far for nine o'clock. Look at the gold lead. Oh my god, I can see clearly for a second, 29k to 24k, and Cyclops getting another kill on Uranus right there. So actually, Cyclops has been a uh, a good counter to Uranus actually. Because if Cyclops OT Uranus, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Because the, the ball is just going to chase you around. You're going to get snared. And uh, look at the bot lane doing a 1v1 against that Yuzhong with the Ling. Um, I don't know who wins that matchup. But usually, usually Yuzhong is supposed to win that matchup. Right now at least. Since Ling is not in his later stages of the game yet. But once Ling gets to late game, I think Ling, Ling might be winning that uh, 1v1. Um, Ling does have the purple buff. Never mind. It disappeared. Going for the orange buff right now. 
Um, if Aether Explicit wants to come back right here, they definitely need to open up the map for Ling. Uh, and look at the Baksha getting... Uh, wait, did I say Baksha? That's a freaking Paquito. And the Ling is not in good in a good spot right now, getting first killed by Roger. And he might want to clean up as well. Another Ejector and Jawhead! Uh, oh my god, Ejector is over Ejector is around the map. He just never stops, this guy. He's been throwing everybody around the map. And I think this is his comfort pick. Another knockup for Yu Zhang. He's even gonna go for a dragon. This might be a little too greedy for a 9 o'clock though. He's gonna retreat. He knows that he can't finish the game right there or get any kills by chasing. But the purple buff is gonna get denied by 9 o'clock here against Aether Explicit. So again, Riles is gonna have some trouble helping on team fights without this purple buff. And they keep trying to fight this Roger who's currently snowballing right now. So it's not looking good for Aether Explicit. And I, I'm really feeling a game number three right about now. I'm really feeling a game number three, to be honest with you guys. Um, nine o'clock. Even if this gets to late game, they have the the Farsa late game. They have the Yuzhan late game. And Roger doesn't even fall off that hard late game. Still pretty decent. And I don't think Ling is going to be able to burst out the Roger as fast. Because Roger is considered one of like the more tankier junglers in the current meta right now. The, the Lord is going to be taken by Roger right here. It's getting started, not taken. But the Ling is waiting. And um, he's going to try to steal this Lord. Will he be able to do it? They do reset the Lord. It's a little bit too ris risky right now. Um, they need a pick up first if they want to start this Lord. So um, Farsa is going to go for a zoning ulti with a Feather Air Strike. Esmeralda going for a two-man um, falling Star Moon right there. But look at the Cyclops ulti making sure that this guy doesn't um, doesn't go anywhere. Farsa needs to recall. She's super, super low. They don't want to start another team fight. Look at the Yu Zhang chasing like two members of Aether Explicit. That might have been too greedy if he dies here. And Yu Zhang is indeed too greedy. He dove like three people alone without with Jawhead. That, that might have been a miscommunication, guys. That was not good um, overextension from Yu Zhang. But here we go. Aether Explicit might turn things around. If they want to make something work, this is the time because it's a 4v5. Finally a 4v4 when you rain it, uh, when Paquito dies. But here we go. Roger's freaking fed and everybody's low. Three members double kill from Uranus. And look at uh, Maniac for... Uh, who was that? Maniac? Is that a Maniac for Uranus? Oh, I haven't seen a Maniac from Uranus in a, in a very long time. Um, wait, am I, am I talking... <laughs> It's really blurry for me right now, but I saw Maniac somewhere. Right now, it's I'm, it's like I'm watching at 240p still, but 9 o'clock. They can get this Lord pretty easily right after that team fight. So, this should be a free Lord. Although, Riles is alive, he does have Retribution. Can he steal this? Let's see. Let's see. Riles, I'll be your number one fan if you can steal this Lord, bro. The, yeah, there, there's, the, there's no way. There's no way. It's too hard. But, he ends up getting a kill though, so it's not too bad after all. They want to get a trade on this Roger as well, but look at that Feather Edge right from Farsa. Just one ulti gets gets linked to 10% health. Yu Zhang chasing the Ling, but Ling gets away with the first skill and hops over the wall. Very, very unfortunate for Yu Zhang, but that would have been so good. Falling Star coming from Esme 1v3, but Paquito's here. This Paquito hasn't been doing anything. Oh my god, he's lost. He does. De he definitely does not look like Manny Pacquiao. He looks like freaking... Uh, okay, I don't want to call out any boxers, but yeah, he definitely don't look like no Manny Pacquiao. Uranus is going to get killed by Cyclops right there. Um, and Ling is actually denying this purple buff from Roger so that um, it's a lot easier for him to dash around the map and use the first skill. Uh, but here we go. Looking like a maybe a 2-0 right now. I was saying it was going to be a 1-1. But right now, after that, man, I think Aether Explicit might have a chance here. They're definitely getting to late game. Uh, with this double support lineup, they have the Esmeralda late game, they have the Ling late game. I think Paquito needs to play better if they want to win. Paquito, bro, I'm, I'm asking for you to play better, but look at this. Yu Zhang going on the back line. Paquito is dead again. Jesus Christ, he's always dead. Manny Pacquiao not looking like Manny Pacquiao. Ling needs to dash away and retreat from the team fight. It's a 1 for 0 trade in favor of 9 o'clock. And yeah, I think, okay, right after that, now it's looking like a, a third game for me this time. All right. Oh man, Aether Explicit, I need I need the Paquito to do well, bro. If Aether Explicit wants to get this W and get a sweep, but a uh, Riles here wave clearing this bot side, they do have super minions. Um, is it me or where, where's the Lord? Someone got the Lord earlier. I didn't even see it push in. I I'm so confused right now since my map is so blurry, but I didn't even see the Lord push in. But look at the gold lead, all right? It's definitely closed down now. The gold lead is not very big. So... Aether explicit, they definitely have a chance of coming back from this. 
9 o'clock, they're kind of, um, how do you say this? Um, it all started when the Yu Zhong got greedy at mid lane. Now Rafaela is gonna OT, gonna hit three people, falling Starman hit, hits on two people, Feather Air Strike to the zone. But look at the Paquito finally canceling a Feather Air Strike. He did something, it's good, I'm proud of you. I love you, bro. Now he's turning into a Manny Pacquiao. He heard me, he's been watching the stream. Look at this! Uh, uppercut, bro! Uh, do an uppercut! Uh, he kind of missed, but it's alright. Uranus is still dead. Paquito finally making a play right there. And he's proving me wrong. He's definitely redeeming himself after that team fight. Oh man, Paquito, you proven me you proven me wrong though. I like it. Yeah, same with last time. You know, I called someone out and they did so much better. And this time around, Paquito's doing the same thing. Ejector on the jawhead. Esmeralda, that might be a little bit too greedy. Cyclops get ejected right there as well. And this might be too greedy for Aether Explicit this time around. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. Farsa dies, the Ling wants to clean up. The Jawhead goes for another ejector. The Ling is gonna die, but Immortality is still up. The Yu Zhang actually almost kills someone, but the sustain just way too much right there. And they want to retreat. It was a two for one trade in favor of Aether Explicit. The Lord will be up soon. So, um, let's see. The later stages, uh, the, late, the late game is right here. It's 14 minutes in. Aether Explicit is supposed to be at a, a, a quite a disadvantage uh, right now. An advantage, sorry, I, I mispronounced it. An advantage. Because they have the Ling and the Esme. I just need a little bit more from Paquito, bro. He, if he does the same thing, even just one small thing, like, um, how do you say this? Just cancel the Farsa ulti. You're good, bro. You already did your job. As long as you cancel the Farsa ulti, if, if I'm Paquito. Not, knock her up, right? Um, you don't, you don't need to uh, do to get some kills for Paquito. Just cancel some ulti. You're good to go. You did your job. But here we go. The Lord will be up sometime soon. The Ling does have the purple buff, and the Lord. There you go. There's, there's the Lord. Paquito face checking by himself, and there you go. That's what. Yo, he, he. I, I swear to God, he hears me. He's watching the stream. He's been making the plays on this later stage of the game. He's rede he redeemed himself. Yep, he definitely redeemed himself. Paquito, bro, sorry for, for roasting you earlier. You're definitely doing good now. Very well played, face checking and knocking up the farsa, and that's what I'm talking about. Bouncing back from a, you know, oh man, Uranus, I don't think you're going to be able to do anything here. Winter Truncheon, he grew as a player, but his team didn't grow as a, as a team because his team is about to lose right now. Oh no, Roger. He needs to defend. I don't think he's going to be able to clear. He's alone, yeah. That's GG, well played. Aether Explicit. Getting the second W and it's gonna be a sweep. Well played, guys.